the very bottom edge, it's going to pop up this control center where we have some quick toggles. So I'm going to go ahead and slide it back down and slide my finger back up from the bottom edge and you see control center comes back up. Now in here we can enable airplane mode by tapping in the, t in the left hand corner. We'll go ahead and disable it again. Enable our Wi-Fi, turn on Bluetooth, even do not disturb and you'll also lock our screen orientation. Now below that we have our brightness control where you see I can adjust the brightness of our display. So I can turn it all the way up or turn it all the way down. And then I have music playback controls here. I can press play, skip forward or pause and then I can even control the volume of the music. And if something were playing, I could also scrub through the audio here and view the title listing here for that as well. In this menu, I'm also going to be able to turn on airdrop. So if I tap on airdrop, you see I can turn it on for contacts only, everyone, or go ahead and cancel, which is going to leave airdrop off. I have my airplay controls down here, which I can do on our Apple TVs. So you see I have two Apple TVs here in our office, and if I were to tap on one, it's going to go ahead and airplay to the Apple TV, and then I can even choose the airplay mirror, which is going to put my device onto the television itself. Go ahead and close out of that, and then down here at the bottom we have quick controls, where we can access a flashlight, come into our clock, which will allow us to set a timer or an alarm, view a calculator, and then quickly open our camera. Now one neat feature is also that if we were to lock our device, I'll go ahead and lock the screen, and then we'll come back out here. You see down here at the bottom, I can even launch Control Center right here from my lock screen. I don't have to be on my device. I can go ahead and launch it even right here from the lock screen, so I don't have to be just right here at my home screen as well. Now I also can access Control Center if I were inside of an application. So if I were to open Safari, and I were still to do that gesture where I would swipe up from the bottom of the screen, I can open up Control Center. Now if I would like to disable that feature, I'm going to be able to go into my settings. So go into our settings and then we'll come here to our control center and you see we can allow the access to the lock screen and allow with inside of applications. So if I were to disable allow inside of apps, go ahead and slide that off. And now you see if I try and swipe up from the bottom of the screen, it does nothing for me. And if I turn this back on, you see now I swipe up and control center comes up. So this is how you're going to access and use control center on your iPhone 5C inside of iOS 7.